So today's video will not be one of my uh, sound successes. In fact, far from it. Uh, what I mean by that is I have a couple of pocket PCs which I got off the flea market but sadly they don't work. Now this little fella is the Dell Axim X51 model which is sort of a mid-tier uh, competitor for the IPAC uh, 37, 10 or 37, 15 series of the time. It's just an early to mid 2000s pocket PC. This, on the other hand, is an HP uh, GPS. It's a pocket PC with a GPS antenna uh, integrated into it and it's supposed to offer all the functions and flexibility of a GPS uh, device while, you know, while uh, using the interface of a pocket PC. Uh, this is the IPAC 310 series. I believe this is a 314, but the difference is just uh, market dependent on related on software and stuff like that. So these two actually come from different generations, but I'll explain to you more uh, when we switch tabletop view and I'll speak about what these things had to offer and what exactly is wrong with these two particular devices. Now then, the 241 special. <laughs> really quickly here, I'll go through these devices. There's no point in dilly-dallying. Now the, uh, the Dell XM, um, this thing is the X51 model and it seems to be in working order. It's not in bad nick or anything, but it's uh, rather uh, the battery is well, I don't know if it's dead or if it's actually just discharged. It's an aftermarket unit, a double capacity one. So I can't really fit the universal charging uh, gadget to fix the pins in the correct uh, in the correct order in order to charge this up and see if it actually starts or not. So this is actually a missed opportunity. Now I paid for this thing about 10 uh, lei or 15 lei, lei I, quite, I can't really quite remember. It was around 2 or 3 euros, something like that. And I plan to charge it up and see if it starts and hopefully make a video about it. Well missed opportunity there but these things happen. Actually the Dell Axim X51 was launched in September of 2005 and it offered uh, Windows Mobile uh, 5.0 uh, Pocket PC OS. It had an Intel Xscale PXA270 processor or uh, uh, really uh, 416 or maybe 624 megahertz uh, uh, frequency and that is dependent on model and let's see if we can find out which one this is so I don't know if maybe we're able to figure this out from this uh, back uh, label here but that's the model. So it was supposed to compete with the more successful um, pocket PCs, namely with iPack from HP. I have reviews of those here. I will put some links here. I don't really find any specific interest in this Dell Axim lineup. I used to own one way back but I sold it off quite uh, early on. It was okay, but it offered uh, the same functionality as the iPad, though I was pretty emotionally and subjectively attached to the iPad lineup. So really the Dells weren't doing anything for me. That's why I decided to sell the only previous Dell Axim X51. I believe I have the V version with a VGA resolution. I sold it on and never bought one uh, up, up until this point when I got this one for a bargain. Sadly it doesn't work. So on that note I think it's time to move on to the iPad 314 or 310 
um, GPS uh, pocket PC. Now this thing is, well, the build quality is okay, I guess, but it does creak and rattle a bit. And this is, this uh, pocket PC really is from um, later on when I pack, when HP started to cut corners in terms of materials. So I'll link a review to the iPad 214 um, model if you want to see what the experience with that one is. And you can make a general idea of what this thing has to offer, plus an additional GPS connection. Now on the side you can see there's another uh, rather nice uh, uh, cover on top of the connections. And I believe these are the one of the last eye packs and also one of the only eye packs to uh, really forego the proprietary HP eye pack uh, style of connector. So yeah, there's also a GPS extension here. You can screw in an, an external GPS antenna for extra uh, extra signal uh, prowess or whatever. There's also a, a loudspeaker on the on the on the back, but it's not a stereo one, and I'm pretty sure the the sound quality is rather disappointing. Now the battery in this one actually works, and I was able to charge the device up. Here is the back side, but sadly uh, this thing just freezes when I try to turn it on. It only shows the home screen and uh, that's it. It doesn't go beyond that. I tried the soft reset with the hidden button here on the side. And I also tried the hard reset, but no such luck. So again, these are uh, an additional three euros spent for nothing. But that's what happens when you try to uh, collect and hoard the weird and obsolete tech stuff. I guess there's a plus side because then you don't have to buy and own these stupid gadgets and I get to uh, review and revisit them years after they were launched. So I guess this is an actual, uh, actually an anticlimactic ending, but I don't find a any reason to keep uh, this video rolling any time longer. So thanks for watching and see you in my next hoarding escapades.